My wife and I started funding medical research about 25 years ago after our son was struck by mental illness in his junior year at college. The happy ending is after a couple of awful years for our son and for us, he went on to have a totally normal life in the almost 30 years since. At that point, my wife and I started funding medical research seeking treatment to get similar outcomes for the many other families where a mental illness like schizophrenia had brought the problem. But there was no treatment in sight to end it the way ours had ended with medication solving the problem. Success has been slower than we would have hoped, but I'm happy to report the pace has picked up sharply over the past decade, both in Maryland at the Stanley Medical Research Group there and at the Broad Institute in Boston. What's been going on up in Boston has been particularly exciting. They collaborate with our scientists in Maryland and other experts in facilities around America and all over the world. They have 150 scientists right there that includes key partners from the Harvard and MIT faculties or at leading Boston hospitals, and particularly including a large group of dedicated young researchers who come to work every day focused on one cause and work long hours trying to find ways to help families dealing with mental illnesses. I'm just turning over almost all my money now and through my will, knowing with great certainty that they're the best equipped to know the best ways to spend it. So if you're a talented researcher, try to get a job at the Broad or collaborate with them. And if you're a fortunate philanthropist with money to spare, do what I'm doing and send it there. There's no place like it on mental illness research and very little like it in any medical research.